Blessed love to one and all. Definitely, we do give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life. I say salam to each and every one. Of course, it is wonderful, of course, to be in your presence. All praises to Kadamawe Haile Selassie first. Honorable Priest Isaac here with you. Of course, it's for the joy. What we will be doing this evening, I will be officially launching the first of our ebooks that is Anu Ancient and Modern Revisited. And for those who follow our works and you know, do you know observe what we do, you would know of the book Anu Ancient and Modern, the the spirit of Antigua. And this was a book that I penned some 12 years ago. And it was the first in a series of books uh, that we call the easy to read books. Now what we have done, we have taken Anu Ancient and Modern, the spirit of Antigua, and transformed it into the ebook fashion, electronic book fashion. So now it is Anu Ancient and Modern, revisited and it is basically the same but of course we added a few little extras to it and obviously it is now more easily available to the international community you know no mailing well at least not the snail mail uh, but the email when you are uh, desirous of getting your copy of annual uh, ancient and modern revisited all you have to do is definitely contact us and we will exactly email you the book and you get it right in your inbox so as i said we are officially launching it and what i will do let me just give you the official there it is a new ancient and modern it is still the same spirit of the island of Antigua, where we are. And now remember to keep in mind that for those who have seen the few documentaries that we've done, at least on the YouTube, and for those who have um, listened to the interviews, you may already have an idea as it relates to the mystics of Antigua. Now, I was born in this land, it's the nation of Antigua and Barbuda. It is really the island of Antigua, the island of Barbuda, and another island by the name of Redonda, which is not inhabited by human beings at all. Now, the whole aspect, as we know, Antigua itself, the Anu represents Antigua, the ANU, for this is actually the port abbreviation. So just giving you a little run through the book. This is the first two pages thereof illustrated, of course, the whole science of Lalibela and the King of Kings uh, with uh, copyright, everything, and notification. You have your table of content. You have your prelude to Anu, where I give you a good understanding. You have the different chapters from the first chapter to the final chapter. Um, the first chapter itself specifically begins going into the whole aspects of the mystics I'm not going to give you a, a quick read. Uh, when you're watching this video, you can even pause it and take a little read for yourself. You get a good understanding. I'm just going to give you a little chance to touch upon it for your own self. Obviously, I'm not going to carry you too far because you, you need to even, you know, the suspense for yourself. But you've heard me reason about the whole aspect of the movements of the, the River Nile. And the River Nile itself is said to have aligned um, itself with the Milky Way. Of course, the Milky Way basically is the galaxy that we are in. The galaxy that we live in is literally referred to as the Milky Way galaxy. And the Milky Way galaxy is directly aligned with the movements of the River Nile that is in you know, Northeast Africa. And now what we have highlighted in the book and even in our different reasoning is that when you observe the movement of the river Nile and you compare it to even the Caribbean island chain, it is just like the whole makeup of the earth in general. It's nothing spooky, nothing way out, because when you observe even South America and, and the Caribbean um, sea area going into Central America, it is as if 
the west coast of Africa could just fit in like a puzzle. So when you observe the earth, there are a lot of places that are aligned with each other uh, when it comes to the different degrees. I think when at the pyramids at Giza, when you compare them to, to Angkor, Angkor Wat, and Angkor Tom, they, I think they're separated by 72 degrees. So, I mean, there's so many things mystic within the earth. All of these monuments, Stonehenge and the Kalasha Temple and these monuments that have been erected internationally and the pyramids of the sun and moon in South America, all of them are directly connected with each other via ley lines, grid lines, and even uh, when you work out the angle that they, they share with the whole aspect of the movements of the heavens. So the whole planet is a mystic. So it's nothing strange to observe the movements of the river Nile here and the similarity to some degree. You know, it's not the whole Caribbean island chain and it's not the whole river Nile path, but you could take snippets out of it and can see literally the alignment. Now, to add to the point, is that on the northeastern section of the River Nile, you have the city of Heliopolis. There you have it there. And on the northeast section of the Caribbean island chain, you have Antigua. There you have it there. Now, okay, this is what someone may say is you know, coincidental. But what we highlighted in the book, as you know, Heliopolis by definition means the city of the sun. That's what it means, Heliopolis, the city of the sun. And we always know that from since we're small, they refer to Antigua as Sun City, you know, the, the, the island with the 365 beaches, you know, the island with the sun in its flag, you know, the very same um, island itself that when, when, Columbus, when Columbus came to the shores, well, he didn't come to the shores. When he came to the region, he didn't come on the shore. You know, he didn't step on the island. He, he specifically stayed where he was. And he gave the island the name. He was the one that gave it the name um, Santa Maria de la Antigua, which is, you know, a holy church in Spain. You know, and, and therein now the whole concept of the church, the whole concept of the church is very outstanding. You know, Santa Maria de la Antigua, again, the whole science of the church. Oh, pardon me for that there, you know, but that's a, that's a name to keep in mind. The whole concept of the church and Santa Maria de la Antigua. And when you comprehend now, the, the whole term Antigua is a word that stands for ancient. It is a word that stands for uh, uh, of time, from time immemorial from the olden days, you know, Antigua, you know, Antigo. So even sometimes when I'm reading and I see the name Antique, you know, you know, and remember it's the Q and everything. So it, it's as if you see Antigua, especially if you're accustomed to the word Antigua, but that's just another science altogether by itself. So anyway, the point is, you know, not only geographically in the mystic levels, you see Antigua aligned with Heliopolis, because that's mystic by itself. But yet still now, we can look at it on another level, wherein they both are the city of the sun, sun city and the city of the sun, the 365 temples of Heliopolis and the 365 beaches of Antigua, wherein 365 in general has to do with the science of the, the movements of the sun, you know? Um, and, and just the story, the whole storyline as it relates to Heliopolis, the whole storyline is that the, the priests would come to Heliopolis. It's the city of the priests, you know, and that's the same thing with Antigua. Antigua is referred to as the, the, the island of the priests. And, and Green Castle Hill now, which we really highlight in the book, really stands out when it comes to that, because Green Castle Hill now is the hill, the area where the priests would come and perform their rites at Green Castle Hill. And um, this is Mount Anu, as we, we have referred to it as, because now the whole science with the Anu again is that Heliopolis 
His ancient name is An, the city of An, A-N-U, where in the court abbreviation of Antigua is A-N-U, Anu, you know, the city of the priests, the city of the megaliths. You know, this is the same mountain that they are destroying even up to a day like today, you know. So it's, it's just outstanding, you know, my brothers and sisters. As I said, we're dealing with Anu, ancient and modern, just recently released specifically the book directly dealing with the spirit of Antigua, as we highlight it as the spirit of Antigua. And at the same time, it is the, the revisited. Now, Green Castle Hill itself, this is when Mara Imbert, the scientist who came from the University of the West Indies, visited us to uh, give us an understanding of exactly what we have in our presence, again, being Greencastle Hill, and the whole megaliths, the, the phallic stone, which is this stone here, aligns directly with the movements, again, of the celestial north pole, where the dippers rest. Every 23rd day of March, 21st to 23rd day of March, which is what is known as the equinox, the spring equinox, you have an alignment with this very same stone here, and the celestial heavens, and you have the thrones. These are all rocks, countless of rocks that are just protruding out of the hill, Green Castle Hill. And of course, I'm sure many of, many of you would know, I'm just skipping this quickly. Many of you would know that we are definitely having our, our hike to Green Castle Hill. And that will be in December. And that is 2018 in December. So remember, this is uh, we have six more months at least to the doing of this video here. And a few people have already contacted me internationally, showing me that they are definitely looking to come and visit us. I would just like to inform you, my brothers and sisters, there's nothing to be worried about at all. As the time gets closer, we'll be definitely sending out the, different, the brochure of the itinerary and uh, everything will be taken care of. It is our, our duty and our wish that we could accommodate as much people as we can. Um, as, as, as economically as we can too. So we are definitely looking into that as well, meaning that the best accommodations and the best of everything with the best price for your pocket. Let's put it that way. You know, I, this may not be something I should even have to say, but this is not, I shouldn't even go into that, but this is a, an act of love. Let me just leave it at that. That we are doing our main mission with this mission to attract the international community is to expose to the world the, the, the megaliths that we have here, that the majority, of, the vast majority of the people, if not almost everyone that lives here, has not the understanding or the interest. I wouldn't say the understanding. They have the knowledge of it because I am here. I am here, so they have the knowledge of it. And this is this is uh, this is the same hill that is be, it is being destroyed. You could look from different angles where you can see it is being um, destroyed by specific quarry companies. Several of them. You have uh, several of them just around the hill that are destroyed it from 1963. You have the antique the masonry product established there. You have, uh, I think, the um, um, Sami concrete. They're also established around there. And, uh, and as you can see, the hill has been blown away, dynamited away over the years until about one third of this hill is gone. You know, So when you understand, when you visit us, here in Antigua, and you, we carry you to the top of Green Castle Hill, and you see the beauty of Green Castle Hill. And of course, remember at the top of Green Castle Hill, you also have the grave of uh, of Governor Baldwin. You know where the, it's in this vicinity right here, the grave of Governor Baldwin, where he himself asked his subordinates to bury him at the top of Green Castle Hill, specifically. You know. And the, 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 what that did now is that he aligned himself with the movements of the heavens. So when you really read the book, my brothers and sisters, 
you get a better understanding as we say it appears light you know but it is extremely heavy in fact the you could definitely at the back of the book you have all the information where you could email us and you can go straight to read your annual as well so Whatever the case is, even though you don't have the book now and you need a copy of the book, you can email us. Here it is, email, priestisaac27 at gmail.com. priestisaac27 at gmail.com. You can definitely email us to get a copy of your book. And uh, it is better that you email us because it is through the very same email that we will be sending you a copy of the book, Annual Ancient and Modern. Big thanks to the loved ones there. So, as I said, it is officially out now. Anu Ancient and Modern, the first of our ebooks now. That will be the first of our easy to read ebooks. And we will be coming with a series of electronic books. These books are perfect for your children. It's not hard reading, yet still, it's designed for the adult mind as well. It's not hard reading at all but dynamic reading, it appears light, but it is extremely heavy. And that is basically the motto of the e-books in general. So, you know, definitely I'm encouraging everyone to, you know, get a copy of your book, Annual Ancient and Modern, revisited. And of course, as I said, you can email us. The book is only $20 United States currency. And as I said, it is um, for sure if you, if you have already delved into the ebook world, you could even, uh, you could even uh, when you open it, you could have the book read it itself to you. You know, you just press the buttons if you understand your own system and the book will just talk to you. So whatever the case is, if you don't want to, spoil the eyes on the computer, you have the book talking to you now. So it's a talking book as well. So I'm inviting you to get your copy. Email us now, or you could even call us and WhatsApp us at um, area code 1268-7283162. But of course, you know, all the information is down there in the description below of the video. So do give thanks, and we definitely looking to put the biblical land of Israel also in ebook fashion and many other books coming down the line. So I'm very thankful for your presence with us. And remember that uh, our series of uh, video lectures are also available. And this month we definitely will be going into the heavens with the heavens declaring the glory but we'll be di directly speaking of the age that we are in. So this month's video lecture is going to be um, very academic, extremely academic, you know? You've got to really come with the academic. It's, I don't think it's even a lecture, it's more like a class for sure. So you've got to come with this one for those who will be ordering. And of course, all those who subscribe to our, our Mystic Vibration Shock of the Hour program, you know that you will definitely get the, the video lecture uh, as a part of that package, depending on when you subscribe. So that is there for you. The book is not necessarily a part of the package. When you subscribe to the Mystic Vibration on Radio Anu, the shock of the hour, the book is not necessarily a part of that package. The book is independent of itself. But for those who subscribe, to the mystic vibration, you would have noticed that I gave you all a copy of the book, the ebook, and the agent and modern revisited. In fact, if you if you are a subscriber of the Shock of the Hour on Radio and, and you have not received a book, what we just showed a while ago, please contact me and let me know. Because everyone on my subscription list should have received a copy of the book and the agent that modern. But just to be clear, it is not officially a part of the subscription package. That was just myself. So give thanks for the love and I, I give thanks for the, all the support and the love and the energy that comes from my people. You know, it is very heartfelt. You may not comprehend, you know. I don't mean subscribers, you know, I 
mean just the people in general that show the love, even if you never even said a word to me. I know you're there. Give thanks. That's the point. You know? So continue to stay tuned and you know, I'll continue to watch more, a lot more information. Remember, the Mystic Vibration is on radio every Monday. Monday to Thursday from 6, um, 6 p.m., you know. Don't be late. You know, I see a lot of people, they, they like to come in at 7 o'clock because they think that's when the shock of the world starts. 6 p.m. is when the Mystic Vibration starts, you know. So get your book, not just for yourself, even for your children, you know. Let us move on with this. So give thanks, love and honor, until we speak again. Holy man, you Thanks, Asante, Sana. Thank you.